Jingle All the Way is a Christmas classic of mine, it's a favorite. I grew up with this film. I, I remember watching this film in theaters in 1996 when I was six years old, which is crazy, but um, the movie definitely had a big impact on me. Uh, my father is a huge fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger, so we watched all of his movies growing up, most of them anyway. And um, this movie, you know, has withstood the test of time. It's not considered a good film at all. Um, it is, uh, I think it has like a 17% on Rotten Tomatoes. But this, you know, this movie came out before Rotten Tomatoes. So I don't know how that's possible. But either way, um, it's, for, it's a movie that uh, myself and my family enjoy every year. Uh, it is about Howard Langston, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. He is a um, hardworking, workaholic type of father. And he's only been workaholic recently. He misses his son karate's class at the beginning of the movie. Uh, and, uh, you know, his son's very upset. So he's able to buy the kid by saying, hey, you know, what do you want for Christmas? And he wants Turbo Man. Turbo Man is uh, something that probably just happened that year, you know, and, and this sort of uh, trend of wanting the year's hottest toy is something that still happens today. I remember when people went crazy for BB-8s, remote control BB-8s, when the Star Wars The Force Awakens came out in 2016, and people wanted Tickle Me Elmo, and um, Hatchimals are, are, are still a really big thing. There's always a hot toy. So Turbo Man is the toy. He's like this Power Ranger looking guy with a jetpack, boomerang, and turbo discs. He goes up against his nemesis, uh, Dementor. <laughs> and he's also got a sidekick booster. And um, it's the year's hottest toy, you know, and, it, it, you know, back in the day when Mighty Morphin Power Rangers came out, if you tried to get a, you know, Red Ranger action figure that year, you probably wouldn't have been able to. So um, Howard thinks, uh, you know, oh, it'll be easy to get this, uh, my son, this toy for Christmas, but he was supposed to pick one up weeks ago, months ago, in fact. So uh, now he's got to spend Christmas Eve looking for this um, toy in order to, you know, make it up to his uh, son, and the crazy hijinks ensue. Uh, this movie, I think the reason why it's withstood the test of time is because the whole, you know, commercialism and materialism themes still ring true today. In fact, there was a teenager who died during a Black Friday because he was trampled um, by crowds of shoppers. And uh, the only reason why the other ca uh, cashier survived was because they climbed on top of vending machines. I'm not joking. So... That scene where they uh, run over that guy in the, in the toy store, you know, predates Black Friday. It's pretty creepy stuff looking at it now. Also, this uh, movie does have a lot of charm. It's got Rita Wilson. It's got a um, great, talented cast of uh, Sinbad at his height of his cinematic powers. And uh, the late Phil Hartman, who's uh, really great as the sleazy neighbor trying to put the moves on... Um, Howard's wife while he's out all day trying to find this Turbo Man toy. And there's a lot of hilarious set pieces involving, you know, counterfeit uh, Santas and uh, Super Ball grab. And um, I re this uh, it only cost me $5 from Walmart. And this has uh, the theatrical version and, the wait, the extended director's cut. Yeah, so when I was in, uh, a child, I still remembered some of the scenes, but when... Certain editions of this DVD don't have certain scenes, like the extended cut was the one I watched right now. And um, yeah, there's a lot of, there's like four or five sequences that aren't in the uh, the, uh, the, um, the home version. Because the, the theater version was is the extended one, I believe. It has um, Jim Belushi singing, I feel sorry for that laddie, an extended fight scene with the Santas, different music as well. And um, it also has the tow truck driver scene. There's also the scene where he tries to buy a Turbo Man from a lady and ends up being a booster by accident. Um, there's also extended scene of Sinbad's character talking about the Johnny Omega 7 gun and all the different guns. And there's like one or two more sequences in there that I probably can't remember, but those were the only four differences. But I remember them when I was a kid in theater. So it was nice to watch the extended version with all those extra scenes. The extra scenes don't really add anything to the movie, but um, uh, for me, it's not just a nostalgia movie. You know, I did watch this movie in theaters when I was a kid and, you know, 
growing up. But the reason why it endures year after year in my family is because of the themes of uh, commercialism and materialism that are still prevalent to this day. Also, the movie does have a good message uh, with the ending. You know, Jamie realizes that, you know, having the Turbo Man isn't the greatest thing in the world. Having a loving father is more important. So it has a really great message to send to the young ones. And it's a very goofy, over-the-top comedy that um, I still get a kick out of watching. The extended cut is very different, though. And uh, there's some really great sequences in there. They got, I think William Kraft is in there. Um as a DJ, a radio man, that's a pretty funny sequence. There's a lot of weird humor, but it's a very 90s movie that you'll enjoy. If you don't watch this movie every year for Christmas, I uh, recommend it to, you know, just try it out one year in your rotation. Um, so that's my thoughts on Jingle All the Way.